This is Michael Swain, Executive Director of 4SA, with an important update and an urgent call to action. Parliament is in the last stages of considering the hate speech bill, and a final opportunity for public comment has been opened only until Monday, the 22nd of May. In simple terms, the bill defines hate speech as an expression that is harmful or incites harm and promotes or propagates hatred against a group of people specifically listed in the bill. If you are found guilty of committing this new crime, you will face a jail sentence of up to eight years for a first offence. Now, we're all against speech that advocates hatred and incites harm, but the big problem is that the bill's definition of hate speech is wider than both the definitions given in the Constitution and the Equality Act. Even more concerning is that hatred itself is not defined at all. Remember, the wider the definition of hate speech, the more speech is criminalized. And if the definition is unclear, how will you know how to avoid committing a crime? Importantly, this is a brand new round of public comments. So unless you submit your comments again, your voice will not be heard. If you value your right to express your religious beliefs freely and fearlessly, you need to comment again. And you can do so by visiting the forsa.org.za website, click the link and take two minutes to make your submission today. Thank you for taking a stand for faith and freedom. Good day. This is Daniela Ellebeck, the legal advisor to Freedom of Religion South Africa. Remember to like and share this video and then click on the subscribe button to make sure you never miss our video updates on vital religious freedom issues.